So after getting the world record late game round of 133, Kony suggested we change the strategy a bit, uh, going from um, Ninja Ice Super Sniper to Ice Chipper Super Sniper, because the problem that killed me was the mobs and the BFBs, which was why I had all my tempers on force to focus them down before they killed me. And um, his solution was getting Chipper, because that can promise our BFBs if you have enough of them. So a chipper ability lasts um, 4 seconds for um, sucking in BFBs and has a cooldown time of 40 seconds. So we need at least 10 chippers to start. And um, that's what our plan was. We were going to use chippers to stall while the BF, uh, sorry, while the snipers stall the ZMGs. So we also need to, to both get 13 tempos. Uh, so that's what we did here. And this was... Um, quite difficult because we decided not to um, run three ice star most of early game so that we had time to place the temple so we're placing it with the mess of ZMGs, BFPs and mobs on screen which is not ideal but we did it anyways and then uh, so we have um, like 10 ice abilities or, or maybe 11 and well I do Kony has I think 14 ice abilities to half the ZMG speed and then we don't have um, ninja ability, so the not, um, the ZMGs are quite fast in comparison. They're double speed, obviously, but um, the idea was that the snipers would be stalling enough that it doesn't matter, and they are getting considerably further. But it's uh, um, it, it's the, we thought it would be counted out by the chipper ability, which it kind of does. So here's around 116. We're go gonna die soon. Uh, and I'm still not done explaining everything. So you can see, and we have all our snipers on close, so that all gets different ZMGs. That's so they space out, so we get one popped at a time, and the others get starred. And um, apparently, Kony and my screen were showing quite different um, results for what the opponent for how each other are doing. And that's expected because um, of delay and uh, sniper ability, the sniper being very time-based and being passive. So I'm already using my four chippers, uh, my four second chipper star because I just I d don't want to let the BFBs and mobs move at all. And Kony's, I think he's just waiting until they start popping. And then probably it doesn't matter too much because we're, st uh, we're still ages away from the world record, and then uh, the BFBs come along, uh, some get starred, but when they get in range of the chippers, they start getting pulled over, and that's what you want, and every four seconds you just use an ability, and then the supers, all the tempos, because we have chippers, we don't need to worry about the BFBs and mobs, so they're all on strong this time, mean that we can focus down the ZMGs, and uh, pop them because the BFBs and mobs don't matter, which is quite nice. And then we ha have a four boosts because, of course, we do. And the ice ability we can use it for the mobs, but it doesn't really matter. And here's around 100 117. You can see how fast the ZMGs are at full speed, and then we have to ice star them to half speed. And they'll never go to quarter speed because we don't have ninja. But you can also see just how effective the sniper star is. And we do have a, a, a pair of 40 and 40 snipers on force, last and strong. That's just to help out, especially on the last ZMG, just to make the round ha start a bit later so we have a bit less to clean up on. And yeah, the ZMGs are getting quite far for round 100, 117 uh, run. And nin um, we decided in the end that Ninja probably is better than chipper because half start on ZMGs which is a lot of time you can add then and also half start on BFBs and MOABs instead of just no BFBs and MOABs we think it's better now to bring Ninja I think because this is the outcome and if it was um, better or just a slight worse placement we should have been getting much um, higher of a round and here we see Kony using boost and still dying and that just is round 117 with a new strategy
Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.